The road in ACC women's soccer is strewn with obstacles. Four teams ranked in the top 10 and six in the top 25. I think it can be challenging. I mean, we play Thursday, Sunday for the most part. And we do that because uh, we try to give our players at least 48 hours in between games to rest and recover for the next game. For the third consecutive trip, Virginia sits atop the poles and in the crosshairs of league rivals. Our conference is so competitive that all the road games are really challenging as well. So difficult from a competitive standpoint, difficult from an academic standpoint, but uh, I think if we have good disciplined players and I think we try to structure it so uh, our, our team's getting the right amount of rest, the right amount of time to study, and the right amount of time to prepare for the games. The Dukies, okay? A little th something you should know about the Duke team. They've been playing in a 4-3-3, okay? And it would not surprise us in the slightest if they changed to match up us in the midfield and play a 4-4-2. The opponent is a familiar one, the Duke Blue Devils. A team that shocked UVA at home in last year's NCAA tournament round of 16, derailing the Red Hot Cavaliers in their title aspirations. My thing is, do we have the urgency, okay? On paper, they should. In my mind, no way. Not after what happened last year, and not after where we are now. The game in Durham represents a chance for retribution and erasing the doubts of seasons past. Obviously, last year, they knocked us out of the NCAA tournament. Very disappointing and, and difficult loss for us. I do think there's going to be some uh, lingering feelings and if you can channel those in a good way mentality wise and competitiveness wise I think it, you can use it to your advantage but you have to be careful with that because you know there's still a game to be played and there's still things that we need to do on the field that have no bearing on last year get off to a good start okay Searching for a fast start, UVA instead found itself trailing. A 23rd minute volley stretched the Blue Devils' lead to two, and Virginia headed into the locker room at halftime out shooting Duke, but trailing on the scoreboard. The second half saw the Cavaliers finally capitalize on their chances. Less than two minutes in, Morgan Bryan scored to pull UVA within one. And then in the 49th minute, leading goal scorer Mackenzie Doniak tied the game and put Duke back on its heels. Relentless pressure continued, and in the 80th minute, another breakthrough. Gloria Douglas notched her first goal of the season at an opportune time, and Virginia held on for a significant Seven, ACC victory. Nine, the comeback eight, means another week seven, at number one, six, but more importantly, five, is evidence of the team's unity and fortitude. Two traits that will serve the Cavaliers well as they strive to attain their ultimate goals.